Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be exploring a new sketch plugin called Magic Mirror. Now, Magic Mirror allows you to essentially mirror an entire artboard onto another shape and allows you to use the perspective tools and things like that to then sort of modify that design to fit other perspectives. It's really great for creating mock ups onto devices to just see your design in a new perspective, like what it might look like on a user's phone or computer screen. But it's also great because it uh, is non destructive to the artboard and it can update when you update your artboard. So it's not necessarily a one time and you're done thing. And in that regard, it functions functions like symbols, but quite a bit different. So we're going to get going with Magic Mirror for Sketch right now. So here we have Magic Mirror. I'm going to post the link in this uh, plugin to the description in the video. And you can check this out. It gives you a nice little primer about what you can do. You can even see some examples here. They have this image here of the device on the phone and device on another phone and the device on the watch. And uh, in their examples, they show you some device in different perspectives. Now what this doesn't do is it doesn't automatically insert it into one of these images for that you'll need to do some masking and stuff like that of your own. However, However, what we want to be able to do is to make this perspective on this device and then be able to use this plugin to make this image itself. So here we have the Magic Mirror plugin where we can download this. And it says that uh, for it's free for personal use, but for commercial use, please consider donating, which I would highly recommend doing. Uh, you can do so at this page where it's just uh, you can donate $5 really nice and easily. And what's cool about donating is, so as you can see, you can just come in here and quickly donate uh, via PayPal. And I would highly recommend doing that if you're using Sketch for anything sort of professional. But what's great about donating for a plugin like this is they actually give you a little bit of incentive. However, they can, you see that they give you a special package if you in fact donate. So it gives you a Sketch file, the package, and a license for commercial use. So you should definitely consider donating if you like this plugin. So let's check it out. Uh, you can grab it pretty easily on Sketch Toolbox. So we'll just type magic. And we can go to Magic Mirror. And let's click Install. Now I'm going to open up a file that we were working on before where we have this design. Uh, we had this in the CSS1 where we're using CSS to control this layout. So we have an iPhone uh, artboard here and we're going to want to turn this into a magic mirror. Now to show you how easy it is to get going, we're just going to make a new artboard and it's not going to be any specific dimensions here. We're just going to go ahead and then use our vector tool and we're just going to draw some sort of a skewed type of shape in some kind of perspective, right? So you could imagine that this might be the front of a phone held in a certain way. So here we have this vector path. And what we really need to do is we need to give our original artboard, this iPhone 6, we need to give this artboard a new name. We're just going to have this name be phone layout, like so. And I'm going to copy the name in here just so I have it in my clipboard. Now what I want to do is click on this vector path that we have here. And I'm going to select this and paste in the same name that we had our artboard as. So we had phone layout and now our vector layer is also named phone layout. So we're just going to come to plugins and then magic mirror. Now what we can do is simply do this magic mirror or as you can see we can do control shift and M. So I'm going to go ahead and do the command here, control shift M. And if you'll notice, uh, nothing happened immediately. Now, this might not always be the case, depending on which tool that you went ahead and used. For instance, if we go ahead and make a rectangle with a fill in it, it's going to have no problem showing up right away. However, what this does is it's actually creating an image from your layer and then setting that as the fill. So if we select our vector layer, you'll see that it's right here in fill. So this may have definitely worked for you or it may not have worked for you. Uh, if you didn't necessarily see anything, check to make sure that your layer uh, didn't have the fill unchecked. Okay, now we can also make a rectangle here and then we can use some transform tools to skew 
and rotate this, put this in maybe some bit of a perspective here. Maybe it's sitting on a table and you're looking at it from above or something like that. So here we have this layer. I'm going to go ahead and rename this layer as well to the phone layout layer. And I'm going to once again do control shift M. And as you can see, this time it pasted it in here and it looks like it's not quite the right orientation. So another uh, keyboard shortcut command that this magic mirror allows you to do is to rotate your fill within the perspective. So we can do that by simply doing control command shift R. And as you can see, it's now correctly looking like it might be something that's sitting on your table. Uh, if we had a phone to use for this, we could certainly use that. So let's check out the sample sketch file that you can download from the Magic Mirror website. So here you can see that they have a just press Control Shift M. We have an artboard. We have a phone here. We have another phone image and a couple of just static phone images here. So you can quickly see the power of a plugin like this for creating sort of mock-ups or just showing off how your interface would look in a real world situation. So here we can do control shift M once more and you can see in a second it's going to have all of these designs adjusted and onto these displays. And it looks really super awesome, uh, especially these ones on the phones where you get things like the phone reflection on top of it and this image right here. Now, in another video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own version of these images using uh, uh, phone and hand images and things like that that you can find around the web. And we're going to recreate something just like this, similar from scratch, so you don't have to use these ones that are sort of built into this sketch file. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.